Hey guys, welcome back. We're doing some more stuff with the the Trans Am motor, whatever, the four weight stroker. I don't know what you want to call it, the big old boy. It's an engine. And uh, so we actually had to tear it all down again, which was cool, um, because we put lube, lube on both sides. On both sides. Yeah, it's, it's there's really no reason to do it, and also it promotes the bearings to spin. So uh, we we uh, redid all that. So. Also, that should help the clearance because I guess it's not technically supposed to be like 0.02 for the main bearings, and the lube on the other side skewed it, so it's probably closer to 0.03, which is good. Zoe's gonna be helping us, and I'm gonna have her ring some pistons for us. Zoe's actually gonna be building this. You're getting the Zoe special with the That's this Zoe Fab. I'm smart. Come on, engine, we're going. We got uh, we we're looking for bolts, but we can't find them. For these. I'm sure they came with bolts. I'm almost it had sure. to have, especially the, the long Tristan's one. Tristan's shit is near my shit, and I have a lot of shit. Look how cluttered we are, guys. For a simple $5 a month, you can help us get out of here. Here, Zoe, you hold. Save hold. us. Save us. Patreon. For a simple $5 a month, you can let us have a shop that will be nice and clean. Yep. So, uh... I can't guarantee the clean part. Yeah, probably not. But so, nice. It'll be nice. It'll be nice. So right now what we're going to do, Isaiah actually finished grinding all the uh, the piston rings that we need. So uh, we got our uh, second rings. All these have top rings, which I think we're going to have to remove, unfortunately. But that's not a, the end of the world because it's easier to stack from the bottom up. So where's that one piston we were working on this one? Yep. So uh, we figured it out. We had to watch a couple videos on Summit. Summit's Racing's YouTube has like a lot of stuff and this is all summit racing stuff so there's actually a spacer ring under here and then we have two a, a scrubber and then the oil slicker and then a scrubber so there's actually like four rings on the bottom portion and then now we can put the second ring on and then the top ring and this is actually ready to install in there and we'll check with plastic gauge the bearing clearance and everything so uh yeah i'm let's let's assemble this one real quick so uh yeah here you go zoe bro this Patreon thing sucks. No, it doesn't. We'll I get a better sign. Well, I, for $5 a month, we'll bro. get a better sign. We will get a better sign. That'll bro. be our first thing we do. I guess this is living proof of why you guys need a Patreon. We, we We're writing on cardboard. Else. Yep. Guys, Just deal with it. Guys, you... Bro. Bro. You can do better. No. All right. Whiteboards are like a dollar. That's, That's a lot of money. We're actually going to be getting a whiteboard, I think, because we got just like cardboard up there. I think we need like a plethora of whiteboards. We need a gut. We need a gut all this stuff. We need to put Project F's engine under the Camaro, just to save all that space. We need to clean up all this stuff. But Push. There's a box full of cats. Why is there a box full of cats? We need to take that to the to the metal recycler. That needs to go. That's been there for honestly years since we did Isaiah's exhaust. So anyways, yeah. do the Patreon. What what you get out of it is more content. Behind uh, the scenes content. Behind the scenes We'll content. give you a sticker. I'll give you... Signs. I'll stickers. give you the keys to the Camaro. We have them in here. Tristan doesn't yeah. know. Just don't tell them, guys. S signed um, signed I'll stickers. I'll the Camaro. I'll yeah. send it to you. There you go. So this is the second ring. And uh, we ground these down to... What was it? Point zero like zero three. Yeah. And I've read online that people actually grind these down 0.05 more than the top ring so we could even grind them down lower just kind of depending on what you want to do but that's what the summit racing stuff said so we're going to follow that yes this is the process just line it up the rings and just go up a bit higher oh shit the little... i got the ass end of it too low this side needs to go up We're also using like the worst tool for this. Yeah, don't grandpa, tell him that. that was a really no, nice we talked one. about it already. No, don't tell him like, that. We used the nice one in there a previous video. That feels good. Yep. Okay, so like the Jerry Rick Garage thing is like supposed to be like a meme, but you guys keep on being like, oh. Oh, did you fall? look at the dot? Oh, uh, the, the dot is up. It is? Okay, cool. Yeah, there is dots that tell you which way yeah, it needs for to go. The, second one, the, the top one doesn't matter. Yeah. And then we'll, after this, we have the fun job of finding the end gaps and making sure they're on opposite sides of each other. There you go. Cool. cool. So that is all the piston rings on now. Good job. I did it. So Indeed. what you want to do is you guys can see there's like gaps, right? And you don't want them lined up with each other because that promotes. 
We have, but I'm just re-explaining it. Yeah, this just promotes it so oil doesn't get through because the oil will literally have to travel all the way around if we flip it, which is what you want. You want, like, you know. Yeah, it'd have to travel all the way around four times yeah. to get through all the different rings. Yep, exactly. So uh, we're going to line this up, and then we're going to crack open our tool, and I think we're going to install the first one. All right, guys, so we're going to do this first. We got this on. Hopefully this works. It feels kind of weird. Um, but we're going to put the bearings on. Um, these supposedly have a top and bottom, so we got the correct one on. And then uh, we're going to plastic gauge just, just to check bearing clearances. And uh, this goes towards, so if that is any indication, you said the, it goes towards... He uh, said the tangs go toward the, uh, like the oil filter. So if that's the case, the tang is this side, oil filter is over here. So go in like that, or we start from this side. Doesn't matter. Does it matter? I don't think so. <clears throat> Need the place to gauge. Well, let's get this one on. And then, is it supposed to be upside down? The dip? What? I don't know. So that's another thing, is like with the, the valve clearance rate. We'll give it a shot. And then we need like something to push us in. It's like, we're gonna want this on the down low too, so it's not scratching the Wall. And just think, if you did it the wrong way, it'll um, just blow up. Shit. Yep. I can't see. Wait a second. Okay. All right, go ahead. Just small taps at a time. Mm -hmm. I can keep it. Okay, that's in. And then we just need to flip this and then put the bearing and that on, plastic gauge it. So let's uh, flip this. Jesus. Yeah. You're gonna flip it, make sure you keep a hand on that. Yeah, it's really tight in there, I think, so. Yeah, I'm just being overly cautious. Yeah. I guess we could, if it's easier, literally do it this way, because yeah. it'll be more straight, and we're not like, as, as at an angle, it's not like jamming to the side. Perfect. Yeah, if you want to come over here. Let's see right in there. So, uh, yeah, I'll get a plastic gauge on that. We'll put that on, torque it down to spec, and then take it off, and we'll see the bearing clearance. All right, guys, so we got the rod cap off, and you can see this right here. It's kind of hard to see on camera. Measure with the plastic gauge, and it's right at 0.03, exactly where we want it. Uh, same as the crank like that's why we had the crank bearing clearance uh, after we tested again because like I said We had to remove that lube. So we're right in spec. It's a bit loose for the high horsepower At least that's my understanding of it. I actually don't know because uh, that's what the internet says and That's what summit says as it should be so we're gonna go with that There are people that know more than we do so we'll trust them. Yeah, we're just using a little plastic File to get that stuff up because it's actually pretty stout on there and it doesn't scrape up anything and uh, we're gonna get assembly lube on it, and then we're gonna just go through the rest because I don't really think we need to check every single one. Ideally, we should, but. I'm sure race shops do, but I'm not a race shop. One was good, so. We're Gucci. Uncle we also has a have. Shop. Well, we have seven more to put rings on and to install properly, so. Really? So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this lubed up, and we're gonna torque them down. Also, I think we show on camera torque spec. We're just doing 30, 50, and 82 foot pounds, so. Yee yee. Got that bottom part lubed up. Got the uh, plastic gauge off there. And then it's hang facing it. Yep. Cool. Cool. And then rod bolts. Yeah. And the rod bolts have oil on the threads, so it doesn't like, it goes in smoothly. You want it smooth. Torque specs are better than like spec like I do not like thirty foot pounds and then angle. ten degrees or whatever. I like numbers. Boom numbers rash. are good. Boom shit. Yep. Alright. 
30. 50. One, 82. 82. That extra foot pound's important, Davis. Very important. My nose is getting so cold. I know, we need to shut the fucking garage door again. Okay. Cool. Yes. Nice. Engine. All right, guys, so we're going to knock out the rest, all seven of those. And then the road dictating assembly, at least the bottom end, will be uh, all done. All right, guys, so uh, we, we were thinking something was up just because, I mean, the logo is upside down. So what we did is we compared them to the cylinder heads where the valves are because these pistons have valve reliefs for them. And uh, anyway, you like the, the head on, the big valve relief should be on this side and it's on that side. Unless so you can put the head on upside down. Yeah, if you want to put it upside down. Work. And it's not even, we checked, I mean, the, the heads are, you know, driver side and passenger side, but even if we we're messing up that side, no matter what, the big valve is going to be towards the front. Yeah. Checked, looked, consulted my grandpa. Yeah. Everything says we're in, we're in there wrong, so yep. we're going to take it out. There's over. also even these on here, so you can see there's a little dimple on the inside there and not on this side. So that also tells you direction. So if that is anything to go by, that means the dot faces the outside of the motor like that. So we're gonna go ahead and just quickly swap this one around. All right guys, we're at a, a certain point where I don't know if we can continue. So basically we got one in, we started on the other one and then we're like, damn, it's not like tapping in. It was like the bottom of the rod was hitting this one and we didn't want to hurt anything so we stopped. We took this cap off, we just moved it, so now they're both together, but this, there's no clearance at all. They're literally touching. To me, this means, like, it's going to hurt itself. Like, they literally cannot be touching like this in my eyes. I just don't know. We got this, and literally, it cannot spin the rotating assembly, and I don't want to force it if it's going to. Like, I could force it, probably, but it's literally metal on metal. I do not want to scrape this up. So, uh, Ben's calling his grandpa to see what's up. I think we should just stop and figure out what's going on. Talk to the machinist guys because they got it on this crank and they did the balancing and everything. So it should work. And we literally use side-by-side -side pistons, the ones that are supposed to go with each other. So yeah, we just got to uh, figure this out, I guess. All right, I don't guys. I care. I just want to be done. I'm pretty fucking heated right now. Um, we've been like dealing with this screaming because you've been in front of the heater the entire time. that's true i'm heated it's on high but uh so we just messed around with all of this so we told you like these rods at the front they were just not going in right so as far as i know the only way they fit is when the uh they're flipped this way how we originally thought with the valve la or the valve reliefs being flipped this is such a low compression motor we're building. I don't even think they matter. We're gonna definitely check with the, the machine shop guys on Monday, but this, we've tried it. We actually, we took it apart, put it in different ways. This is the only way they go in and it looks like it, it'll it work. Yeah. So we're gonna get the rod caps on. We're going to torque them down. Let's see if we get the same issue or if it works perfect. Because we literally could not rotate it the other way. And then also, uh, I'm also thinking with these rods, we haven't touched these. They were all, I guess, uh, this one got touched. They are all facing this way. I'm assuming that means this is the back. They face the back. And the, the actual label sticker is on the front, so I think that's the front of the motor. This is the back. Fingers out of there. Balance. <laughs> so let's get these, uh, the rod caps back on. Yeah, it's uh, been frustrating, it's late. I wanna eat dinner. And you this thing is, this has been, has been annoying trying to figure out with limited yeah see how easily that went on too we torque these down they gonna fucking work so we're gonna torque them down and we'll show you guys it rotating and yeah we'll be back all right guys so uh yeah we torqued it all down and look at this literally so but i could do it literally with my pinky i bet like look at that here hold on easy Get off. it's kind of slippery you can still move it by a bit by hand but like with this, 
the breaker bar. It's it's yeah, perfectly fucking Jeez. fine. Yeah, it's a lot easier now. So good. And we got the right caps on because I actually flipped them. But See, these, this is what uh, we were both yeah. looking for. Yeah, it needs a little bit like that. Just a little bit. This is torque to spec. It's fine like that. The numbers on there match. And also, from what we know, that's the back of the motor. This is the... It's it's where it needs to be. The shit with the valve relief. What's the deal? Or maybe that is right, and I just... Dumb. Maybe the valve relief needs to be at the bottom. I have no idea. Well, no, it's just the big valve will be there. We, we definitely still need to talk to the machinist because... One, it is orientated the correct way with the big valve relief on the that side. It don't work. It don't rotate at all. And it needs to rotate. So uh, I think we're probably going to end off here. We've wasted a lot of our time trying to just figure this out. But now we know. Because we need to ring every single one and get them in there and torque them down. So well, Davis, you just don't have to skip dinner. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, so I think that's going to do it, at least for this video. But, uh, yeah, our idea is to get this swap done as soon as possible. Vince is going to be bringing over his transmission and some other stuff. All right, guys, so I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, we have a Patreon. We said it, like, I think 50 times in this times. video. Yeah. But we especially want you to now, because yeah. that's my birthday wish. That's true. It's his birthday tomorrow. Today. Yes. 14th? What is it? No, 17th. 17th, yeah. 14th was, like, Friday. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Davis don't know what day he's living in. So yeah, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and comment down below.